Hey everyone, welcome to the Hobby Streaker. Today we're gonna do a quick look at a new feature uh, in Cura. I'm not sure uh, which version. Uh, right now I'm running 4.12.1 and I believe this is something new in 4.12. And it's called Lightning Infill. If you follow me on the podcast, I've talked about it last time, and um, I talked about the fact that, yeah, it's kind of like the tree support, but for um, infill. So, let me show you the difference. So, right now, we have this, uh, and it's something that I created. It's a handle where right here for the camera that's looking at me so um, that's a handle to and then you put a magnet on the top magnet in a base which is kind of like there if I can grab it like this and then you basically magnet goes clink and here you go and then you pull it out take another one put it in its place and so like this you can change between a lot of different minis if you're doing batch painting and so you can do that so anyways all right so this right now so the infill is gonna be you know we're gonna do a cubic infill 15 percent is probably enough I might even be able to go down to like 10 but when you slice it and then that should be yeah that's fairly easy so we have a two hours and 27 minutes 24 grams of filament is pretty much what we're gonna get now if we look at it so you can see that as soon as it reaches basically where there is a hole that's when it starts to do the infill but the infill is basically from the bottom all the way to the top now if I was going to do an infill 0%, let's put 0, and if I was going to slice this, that means basically, well, I could have just, you know, infill density 0%, let's see what it slices, and you're going to see where the big issue would be if we were doing this. So, basically, like, this is fine. This is fine, and if you keep going up, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, until you reach basically, all right, here we go, two, three hundred and three eleven. Three eleven, all of a sudden, you have the area in the middle, which is basically underneath this. I, if you try to print, it, it will just print in midair. If the gap is small enough, it might actually work, and that might actually uh, maybe print because the area is not too bad. But if it starts printing, trying to print in circle, it's gonna print in midair. Now, when you do the infill to 15%, the thing is, it does it everywhere, and the only area that you're really interested in is right there again 311 if we go up to 311 that's what you want to support so if you go to 310 you can see that it created the cu uh, cubic and you can do cubic subdivision which might save you a little bit of filament and so on but anyways this is all you need like you would not you would not need more than just that support right here the rest of the the rest of the 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 handle is fine without anything because it's a shell. So once it's, the shell is closed, it it should be strong enough to hold whatever. The only reason you put that in fill is so that you can print here. Now this is where the lightning infill really shines, and this is what it's made for. So now if you slice it with the lightning infill all of a sudden you get you down to one hour and 37 minutes and look at it so right at 310 that layer now you have something that you can build that 
310, 311 layer on top of it. Like, yeah, you, you have that support on the bottom. But if you keep going down, you can see that that support just disappears super quickly until it reaches the side. And that's it. And so the rest of the thing, the, the rest of the model is completely empty. And so the, the only area, like it, it does a tree support, but inside. And that's where you gain a lot of time because we ha we have like an hour less. And instead of 23 grams, we have 12 grams, which is almost half. Like, so this is the thing. So I've sliced both of them and I've printed both of them in with the lightning infill and the regular infill and I am gonna now do a close-up and we're gonna take a look at those and see the difference between the two. All right and we're back and so we're gonna take a look at those two. Um, first of all yeah that's I could have used some support at the base but it doesn't really matter I mean this is just a handle but all right, and this is the thing. So you can tell, and I might just try to grab uh, just a light to just shine through it, and maybe we can see. Like, I don't know if that's going to be enough. But so this is completely empty, except for the top, which you cannot really tell. Well, this one, and uh, you cannot tell. Yeah, it's not it's not bright enough, but if you put it in a bright enough light, you can actually see the inside um, structure. So you can feel the weight difference. I mean, this one is basically 24 grams, where this is 10 grams, so it's super super light. But I mean, yeah, it's it's as strong. It it the 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 thing itself is not really an issue like this is this is fine but again like well and actually it's funny because the the outside looks smoother on the one that doesn't have the infill and I'm guessing it's because it builds like it goes around it goes around 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 it does the infill a little bit where it starts but yeah it, it's actually it looks a little bit smoother like you have where the layer starts we can you can see and yeah so again like no real big difference between the two except for the weight which again and the printing time which is about an hour less and less filament so this is kind of like a big it's a big deal for oh here we go i found one area that is a little bit more squishy than the other one like the bottom but other than that like this is a shell anyway. I, the, the inside is only there to support that top part to, to be able to print this and not print in midair. So yeah, here we go. Lightning infill. I mean, like I'm gonna start using it a lot more. That's for sure. Uh, every time I'm gonna have something that's gonna be looking like this, where it's um, a shell basically, I am definitely gonna use um, the lightning infill and just try to see how much uh, filament I can save but yeah sorry doing a little bit of cleaning it's bothering me yeah this needs some cleaning too but anyway so yeah here we go um, again perfectly fine with the lightning infill a lot a lot lighter a lot uh, yeah faster so all in all really good really happy and Definitely, we'll go with lightning infill from now. Um, like, subscribe, comment. If you want more video like this, if you want me to try some 3D printing stuff, just let me know. Um, I don't mind. I got a brand new roll of filament that I can try and, and just uh, try new uh, new design, new things. If you have anything that you want me to try, just uh, let me know. All right. See you all later. Bye.